What's up guys, it's Bishop from BigBuildingsDirect.com and we are out in Palm Bay, Florida today taking a look at Les's 48 by 40. It's got two lean-tos and a custom cement job. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we, we started this little project the end of April and uh, got the concrete done hauled over 150 uh, loads of dirt in here. Just came in and they knocked this thing out of the park in two days. Uh, they worked daylight till dark and uh, made sure I was happy before they left. So I'm extremely happy with the building. Yeah, it's caught a lot of attention um, over the last month. <clears throat> I've probably had a dozen neighbors stop by already and you know, in awe over the building. So um, absolutely, I would say absolutely go with big buildings direct. So let's go over some of the details. Les went with a 48 foot wide by 40 foot long metal building. At its peak height, it is 12 feet tall, but even under the lean-tos, we're still at nine feet tall. In terms of color, we have sandstone for the siding and a nice clay trim, and having that lighter color around the garage doors and any windows definitely helps give a nice color pop to make it look nice inside of a residential neighborhood. So although you don't see it here, you do have the option to add a wainscoat to most buildings, which will give you access to two separate color tones on your siding. Although it is an upgrade, it does dramatically enhance the overall aesthetic of any building that you are planning on putting onto your property. So you can go with multiple different surfaces to build your building on top of. Les chose to go with cement and what was interesting that he did was thanks to the engineer drawings that he was able to get from our team, he could then pass that over to his cement providers and they actually were able to build four foot tall cement columns that when we got on site we were actually able to build our metal framework around those columns and that extra level of support is going to help when we get those high wind speeds during hurricane season down here in Florida. So let's talk about layout. On the front of his building, Les has two 10 by 10 garage doors and one eight by eight garage door. Your 10 by 10s will be full size and perfect for driving any kind of vehicle inside of, and your eight by eights will be great for ride on lawn mowers or golf carts for easy entry and exit. Additionally, in the back, we also have one more 10 by 10 garage door, as well as a framed out walk-in door. And finally, we have one last walk-in door on the side underneath the lean-to, as well as seven windows in the sidings. One of the last things that I wanted to talk about is how individualized you can get with creating each building. With your lean-tos, you can either go covered or uncovered, or even partially covered like this where it creates an almost porch-like environment. With your siding, you can go horizontal or vertical. With your overhang, you can extend how far it overhangs to give it a more residential look. And as I said earlier, you can go with the wainscot to two-color tone your siding. You can even color match your screws if you want to get that detailed with your aesthetics. You can add frame outs to get walk-in doors wherever you need inside of your building as well as windows or no windows. I mean, the options really are pretty incredible with how extensively you can build these buildings up. So in terms of the framework, any building that we put up is going to meet or in most cases exceed your state and local codes when we're talking about wind speed and snow load. In most circumstances, we're gonna recommend going with the 12 gauge steel for your framework. In this circumstance, less went with the 14 gauge, but even that is still going to be certified all the way up to 170 miles per hour for wind speeds. Now, each of the four garage doors that Les had installed and framed out in this building is each fitted with a roll-up door. And the benefit of those is that they do not require any electric. They can roll up and roll down, but they can also be secured with a handle so that you can lock up your garage easily and not have to worry about anything inside getting lost or stolen. All right, we are all wrapped up on this 48 by 40 in Palm Bay, Florida. I hope you guys like taking a look at everything he's got going on inside. I hope we answered and showed you some cool stuff that you can get inside these metal buildings. If you might be interested in getting a metal building for yourself, check out bigbuildingsdirect.com. We're here to give you the information you need so that you can get the metal building of your dreams.